Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night and welcome to episode 31 of my Agrarian Sky series. And today I am going to be doing a couple projects. One, I'm going to see if I can get this to work the way uh, I presume it will based on what some of you guys have said and doing some additional looking. Uh, and connect this up to the ME system, the output that goes to there, coming from the, uh, the the harvester up there, and then down to this level, and then finally into the ME system. Uh, I'm not sure how much of the ME cable I'm going to need. All I know is I definitely do not have quite enough to do it just yet uh, I am at let's see here 10 and in order to make the ME cable I need either glass or plastic I can get the glass from cooking some sand uh, and I can get the plastic from dealing with some rubber trees but I don't have much of either as a matter of fact especially because I don't have this set up or at least this part of it set up on the ME system I don't really have ready access to a lot of sand uh, as a matter of fact I think I am out of sand wait a minute because that's empty of course it is I need to get this onto the uh, power system from coming from here actually it shouldn't be too hard to do. But uh, also, I have done a couple of things. One, the ice is still going uh, towards this quest here. I've got uh, fewer than 500 to go, so that shouldn't take too terribly long. I'll be able to get that quest turned in today. It's nice. Uh, and eventually, the logs will be able to be turned in but definitely not today I'm getting plenty of them just it's it's slow going now I have been having an issue up here you can see that there is a gap right there in the uh, in the item duct there was a gap roughly at the same spot uh, when I logged in in the uh, energy conduit was this redstone or lead leadstone energy conduit so nothing up there was getting power and everything had fully grown and I had to dirt up and replace the cable now I just discovered this is gone and I'm not sure exactly what's causing that maybe a tree grows into it or something but yeah like that but it doesn't make any sense why that would happen. So the only thing I can think to do is maybe run the cable up the middle and, and the ducts and whatnot up the middle of the walkway so I can avoid the branches sticking out and breaking it or, or something. I'll have to figure it out because this just won't do uh, and, and I had not had that occur previously so I did not know to expect it but when I get it switched over to the ME cable system I will also be switching the power conduit over so that should fix it I hope I hope that's what's causing it just trees growing into place in the meantime I have to just jump up and empty this chest not a huge deal but inconvenient now um, I did get another thing going that had totally slipped my mind that I could be doing right now and that is getting some of the seared stone blocks which I am going to need for the quest that I had open when I started this thing it's asking for a thousand seared stone which is only what 15 16 stacks so 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so most of this chest filled up with seared stone I have 
bunch of cobblestone going into there. I'm, I had considered hooking it up uh, by way of the item ducts just to feed it in, but I thought just in case I, I want to use this, I'll give it a chance, a chance to empty out between runs and I can use it for something else. I, I don't know exactly what just yet, but I will. I will be able to do that. Uh, I'm also trying to stay on top of this so I don't have an overwhelming amount of cobblestone in here by working towards crafting the largest of the compressed cobblestone. I've got two quintuple, not even close to getting a sextuple yet, but once I do, I'll be able to have the template for the uh, the septuple and then finally the octuple. So that'll be nice. Um, now, as far as liquid quests are concerned, I don't know how I'm going to get the mushroom soup from cows. Uh, I was planning on doing it from cows using the mushrooms because you used to be able to craft an egg in order to make mushroom or the the mushrooms and now I can't so uh which one is it food protein mushroom no it's liquid meat um mushroom soup there we go oops use the right mouse button to click on that I suppose I could just, well, no, I don't know if the bowls of mushroom soup can be treated as fluid. Hold on, let me see here. I think I have a portable tank or something. I want to find out. Um, there it is. I want to find out if I can do this. So... I'll just put this here for right now. Uh, do I have bowls already made? Yes, I do. And... No, they're not in there. They are in here? No. Okay, so there's one mushroom. The brown one. Where's the red mushrooms? Do I have some over here? And why don't I have any red mushrooms just laying about? There. So, as I recall, that's the recipe for the mushroom soup. Oops. Or mushroom stew, rather. Let's see if I can dump this into a tank manually. No. I'll just go ahead and eat that. Um... I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this correctly. Uh, I'm going to have to maybe look it up or something. I don't know. Oh, you suck. Literally, you suck. It, I am... I am at a loss here because without being able to spawn mushrooms... Let's see here. Let's see if there's a recipe. Oh. I can use it doing alchemy. I could get some mycelium, leather, and a red mushroom. Hey. Now that, that's promising. I just need to get Silk Touch on a shovel or something. Okay, well, I think I can do this. Excellent. Uh, oh, that... Might as well look that up, too. Not with which. Is there a recipe for that? No. Okay, so that's going to still be an issue because... Let's see here. It wasn't in here, was it? There was... A quest 
Oh my. Uh, there was a quest, I'm pretty sure, that required me killing a witch. Ah, there we go. Monster Hunter. Five witches, ten slimes, and ten of the brainy zombies. Well, I can kill the brainy zombies. That's not an ordeal. But I have never seen a witch. Why is this? Oh, I'm running out of power down there. So, clearly there are a few things I need to address, but uh, for right now I just want to get this started. And I'm going to make this a priority for this episode. Get this switched over to the ME system and then see what happens from there. So, just wanted to get started. I'll be right back. I was just going to the quest book and I realized uh, that there is one thing I can go ahead and do and that is w turn in some of the stuff towards th this quest here. I have enough blocks of most of these things to just go ahead and submit and now all I need is bronze, aluminum, brass, and alumite and I'm all set. I didn't even realize this quest was in here, so I'm going to see if I can uh, hash this out real quick uh, because I want to finish this off. I need, let's see here, bronze is well, of course. Uh, looks like three copper and one tin. And then aluminum brass. Let's see here. Well, that doesn't tell me anything. How do I get the liquid aluminum brass? Three aluminum and one copper. And then alumite. Is aluminum, iron, and obsidian. Okay. So I just need to make a few more stacks of some of these special specialized things. And I should be good. That, that means that it's probably a good thing that I'm letting this go. Uh, so I'm going to let this finish up a little bit and make some of those special smelted metals and get that turned in and see what if there's anything that opens up because of it I don't think there would be because it's right here in the middle but it says unlocks two quests elsewhere elsewhere so I have no idea where that would be so I will go for that real quick and or at least get some of it started and see what I can do so I'll be right back well here's an awesome bit of good news the quest here is done for the iceberg glacier which glacier is misspelled but that's all right so now all that's left for this is well, it's more than halfway done with the wood so that's nice um, I have moved this out to the center. Now I need to, uh, start working on the ME cable, and I'm probably going to do this by way of flight potion when I get all those changed over. But before I do that, I needed to get some glass going, so I have run some sand through the pulverizer. And have smelted some glass. Additionally, I have got whoops, a couple of these done. The bronze and the aluminum brass. Now I need is alamite. Uh, now in order to do the alamite, I'm going to need supply of lava. And enough of that to make uh, 64 blocks of obsidian. So I'm probably going to, well, let's see here. I might just make a, a couple tanks or something. That has 
Laffa in both of them. Not enough, but some. Uh, I have disconnected all this so I can convert it over to the ME system. I'm probably going to move these guys over there as well as the sifter uh, setup. That way it all it is all in... Well, maybe, maybe this area over here? No, because I want to expand for the mushrooms. I'll figure out a place for it, but for right now, those are off. I'm not producing any graffle or sand or dust or anything that comes from them, uh, which is fine. I have plenty of resources, but I, I wanted to get that all turned off so I could focus on other things for right now. Um... Let's see here. Well, I suppose I could run some conduit. No, if I run it through here, I won't be able to access that. I'll figure out a place for it eventually. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and turn these guys in. So now I need to use the Elamite, like I said. I need obsidian for that. I could... Well, there's got to be an easy way for me to set something up. I could use the magma crucibles and cook some cobblestone into lava that way and just temporarily have those set up for making the lava I need. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. So I'm going to work that out and get the... Obsidian semi factory set up, and I'll be right back. I almost forgot. I got a reward bag from that quest, and it just happens to be an epic reward bag, so let's see what's in it. Vial of Essentia. Okay. Well, unknown aspect. All right. Well, that's less epic than I was hoping for. But I guess it will have to do. Oh, right. I'm putting the magic-related stuff down here. Or is it just the... No, it's just that related stuff. Okay. Well, I'm going to get to work on making obsidian. As it turns out, I only need 16. So I should be able to take care of this. Uh, in the meantime, I'll be right back. All right. I now have... Well, let's get back to the right page. Uh, what was that? Looks like there was something ready to turn in there. Oh, I guess it was in here? No. Interesting. Anyway, I now have the 16 blocks of Alamite. So there we go. That's that. I believe I picked the one on the left before when there were multiple ones so i'll pick the one on the right claim the reward and i have no idea what that opened up um clearly not one of those maybe it's something down here in bragging rights let's see what this is no that's still those Those all look the same. I don't know what other two it could possibly be talking about. So, oh well. Uh, now, let's see here. I saw... When I was looking around earlier, I saw that I'm not too terribly far away from getting these done. So I might go ahead and see about polishing that off. Uh, there are some vanilla things that I can probably just take care of almost immediately, except for the beacon. <clears throat> I need the nether star for... How, how would I... Oh boy. 
I have to go find wither skeletons or or nether skeletons or whatever those are. Oh, that's not good. Let's ignore that for now. What are we having here? That's not even close. Light energistics. Can possibly make some of these. Oh look, tiny TNT. Uh could make some of these. That's actually probably not that hard to accomplish. Eh. That's a bit off in the distance. Armor Smith. I can probably go ahead and make this, but let's see what we got as far as rewards. Four new lives. A an another epic reward bag. Nether uranium, that's good. That can go in here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try for the armor because I get a reward bag and a full uh full thing of uh of a full heart. Can't speak today. Uh, I did go ahead and switch this over to be the one for the milk, and it is slowly but surely draining this, or it was, yep, it's draining. Uh, it'll take a little while to empty it out, and I don't know exactly how far along I'll be. B, but right now it's only 1% of the way done. So it's going to be a little while. I get two reward bags out of it, but I'll let this sit and simmer for a little bit. Same thing goes with the liquid meat. It's 1,600 buckets of liquid meat. So I might go ahead and switch this over to uh, what, what's up there now? Uh, it's a grinder now, so I might go ahead and switch this over to the slaughterhouse in just a little bit. Uh, we'll see. But, uh, I'm going to, I guess, assemble some armor and see what I get from that quest, and I'll be right back. Alright, so, in order to do the armor thing one of the items that i'm going to need is hardened leather in order to get hardened leather i'm going to need some leather i could either start uh breeding some of the cows that i've got over here bring them back here breed them slaughter them whatever or i could use the alchemic chemistry set and i will need hmm this thing i don't know how much is in here Well, I can't tell by looking, can I? I need this. Ah, plenty. That should be more than plenty. Okay. So put this guy back. Put that in here. And it's doing the swirl things. It will consume the water and... Or the water in the bucket. So I'll need to do this multiple times. But each one of these setups will yield three leather. So if I want a full set of armor, I need 24 leather. So I only need to do this eight times. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of this real quick. But before I do, there's one other thing that I needed to show you. And that is candleberries. Candleberries are one of the plants that you get from the seeds. And with four candleberries in a pot, you can get this stuff called candleberry wax. And I will need 24 of that in order to make the, uh, the hardened leather. So that's what I'm doing with that. And when I am ready to make it, I will demonstrate it. Actually, I can go ahead and show you with some of the leather I've already gotten. I just need that. This, 
like so, and I get three hardened leather, and it uses up some of the candleberry wax. So that's how that works. I'm going to continue working on this, and I'll be back. All right, got the parts that I needed for making the last piece of the Invar armor, the boots. And I am ready to turn this in. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? It's a two-parter? Ay, ay, ay. I thought that was too easy. Okay, well, then never mind. Uh, let's see here. I know that I'm getting a little bit farther along than this, but almost 60% now. That's nice. Uh, let's see here. What's flashing? I'm working on doing the dirt. I need a thousand sticky pistons. That's going to be a while. Uh... I need 10,000 of each of those, so that's going to be a little bit. You know what? I should probably set up some pulverizers. I've been carrying them around with me after disassembling that. I should probably just go ahead and set them up somewhere. So why don't I go ahead and get that going, and then I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I have got some pulverizers over here. I upped it to six of them. Uh, and the reason is, is I want to start getting a bunch of sand. So I've got uh, the whole top row and this one turning cobblestone into gravel. And then these two are pulverizing gravel uh, into sand and uh, a little bit of dust. So I'm not going to be getting as much cobblestone immediately as uh, I was for a while it's it's slightly diminished these don't pulverize nearly as fast as I produce cobblestone so yeah I'm still getting plenty of cobblestone excess but uh, that means that the progress towards uh, what is it the octuple compressed is going to be a little slower, but grand scheme of things, that's a big end game project anyway. Uh, 43 million cobblestone. Wow. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's all hooked up. No, everything seems to be working fine. I am planning on... Well, maybe doing a little rearranging here, but uh, these machines, I'm planning on moving them over there somehow. I don't know where I'm going to put them just yet, but uh, they don't need to be here. So uh, I will be thinking about how I'm going to do that in the future. Also, I came down here just to, just to take a look and something has happened here. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not going to even probably deal with it. But uh, that's that's kind of terrifying. I Maybe an update or maybe a tree growing. I don't know. But whatever the case, that I'm not probably going to be going down there anyway. Uh, everything over here, this whole smeltery farm is now uh, switched over to the ME system and everything seems to be going into its allotted slots just fine uh, I don't have anything cooking in there right now nothing and oh, there's some iron and some tin but for the most part it's just doing its own thing I'm still manually working with the reactor here I'm eventually going to be uh, outputting the the cyanite from here and inputting the uh, the fuel probably I might even switch one of these out to plutonium 
uh, have that go in there, and then when the plutonium, well, uh, maybe I could just stay on top of it manually. It's not really going faster than uh, I I can keep up with it, so maybe I'll just keep doing it manually. It shouldn't be a big deal. I'm producing lots and lots of power, and ooh, I'm having a slight drop in power now. That means I'm going going to probably need to make a little bit more oomph. Why is it dropping so fast? Now that's a constant drop. Oh, it's dropping because of these guys now. All right. So it looks like I might have to add some more columns in here. Uh, eight more columns of the reactor cores. That's no big deal, but that'll be a future project. Um, oh, right. Oh, I have switched this over to start working on meat and pink slime instead of mob essence. Uh, this seems to be working just fine. Nothing has been uh, deleted from a tree growing or whatever was causing that before. And I have upgraded this to the redstone conduit instead of leadstone, um, as well as the redstone energy cell. That way, this is going as fast as it possibly can. Uh, so once it gets to a tree, the tree just goes splat. And I'll show you that once it gets to that spot. Come on, you can do it. There we go. It is just grinding through the trees when it finds them. Uh, the, oh, well, that's not going to show me anything. I'll go up here. The planters are staying nice and full for the most part. Ah, let me out. They will probably... Uh, will be working a lot better once I am done making dirt. I don't really need, oops, I don't really need to be making the dirt with saplings. I could probably switch over to something else, but for right now I'm using saplings to make the dirt there. Uh, I'm just going to leave it be. Once I get all of the dirt made for the uh, which quest is it uh, this one yes compacting dirt once I get a quadruple compressed dirt and I just need the one um, once I get that I can stop making the dirt on mass and and just deal with it a little bit at a time if I want to uh, or I could trim some leaves. That that might help. Actually, come to think of it, that really would get me more dirt. I am going to switch. Whoops. I'm going to switch this guy over to leaf trimming. Sheer leaves, yes. That way. That's a weird tree. That way I can get the leaves into the system. Wow, hello. I'll take these guys here. Make dirt out of these. And then I can keep the saplings in place. So, so that solves that problem. You go there. I guess I didn't need two. You go in there. These are filling up. Okay. Problem solved. And I'll just use those to make the dirt for now. That'll make me get the dirt faster anyway. Uh, and... Uh, that will be done. I have, whoops, I've missed that multiple times. Come on, let me up. I have 
switched this over the the cobblestone here to using item duct to just keep this full uh, it's going to be a little while but it's working fast enough that it's it's worth just making this automatic for now and then any spillover i can just deal with later besides the seared stone let's see here the uses for it i can well using chisel i can re-smelt it oops and turn it into seared bricks um oh i can make the steel working books that's kind of funny and scorched bricks i i could use it for something in the future and maybe another quest will call for it anyway so if i have a little extra oh oh well no big deal but i think I think now is a good time for me to go ahead and wrap up. I've gotten a lot of projects done today. Um, I've several quests turned in. Uh, uh, primarily, I wanted to take care of that today, and it's good and done. So I'm happy with that. Uh, and this will be getting me sand a lot faster than I had planned on getting it. I'm not going to be... Uh, using the sifter to get diamonds and emeralds and stuff from gravel and all all the extraneous stuff um, Because I don't really need it right now. I don't really need the dust uh, If if something happens that I do need it, I can always just come in here and get some sand. I'm getting plenty of it so No big ordeal there but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can, whether in the uh, videos or in the comments themselves. If you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to give a like. I do appreciate that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. But I'm going to let you go now, so thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.